when things are not going right the last thing you want to do is pick up the camera and talk about it but that's exactly what we're going to do because part of the reason we started the channel is so when we make mistakes and screw stuff up it'll help you to not do the same thing when the time comes we're in oklahoma city it's moving day we're supposed to be moving to fort sill oklahoma today uh but everything's frozen everything's frozen last night uh I pulled out the tire minder, which is my tire pressure monitoring system, uh, to check the tire pressure because I always do that the day before travel day and notice the tire pressure was low on the RV. And that's normal because it's cold. It's like 15 degrees outside right now. So I have a, a compressor which hooks to the battery of the truck, which I can air the tires up with. So I got to start the truck. The truck won't start. Super, super cold. I tried to jump it off with the halo bolt, but it wouldn't jump. So then after a little bit of research on YouTube and through the owner's manual, we found out that the 2016 Ram 3500 comes with a plug to heat the block. Heh. Well, let me show you what happened with that. All I have is this guy right here. This is an orange extension cord, but the plug on the truck is right there. And the power supply, yeah, she's way over there. So, tried to run it from uh, from here to the vacant lot next to us, which is a lot closer. And we came up about a foot short, so we're gonna have to improvise. Well, now I got it hooked up. The problem is, I got it hooked up to a to a power strip, which you're not supposed to do because it's a safety issue. But I got no choice because this is our only vehicle and uh, the only choice I have is like Uber to a, to a place to get another extension cord. This only has to stay plugged in for about an hour, that's what the owner manual says, for the block to heat up so we can start the truck. And we're under a timetable because uh, it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning now and the gate that we have to get into on Fort Sill closes at two o'clock we have to get through that gate and that's the gate we have to go through to get to lake elmer thomas recreation area so this thing has to heat up for about an hour we'll go do breakfast and and coffee and stuff while this is warming up oh and that's not the only thing that froze we spent uh a little over a hundred dollars on a on a heated hose just because we were tired of of filling up the fresh tanks and then unhooking to keep from the hoses from freezing so we got a heated hose and so uh, the hose works great. The hose didn't freeze. The spigot at the RV park froze. And so we didn't have any water last night when we went to take showers. We had to hook up a double piece of, of water hose and run it to one of the vacant neighbors and fill up our freshwater tank and run it on pump. So right now it's, it's super cold and hopefully nothing else goes wrong. Um, like I said, we're under a timetable. If we uh, if we get close, something happens, um, we're just gonna have to stay here another night and try it again tomorrow. We'll let you know how it goes. It was so cold here yesterday, and it was like it was like like misting rain, so it was freezing, and so the whole side of the truck is frozen. I don't know if you can see that. Like I said, it's 15 degrees yesterday. It was it was 20 degrees yesterday. And the wind was 30 miles per hour. There's a billboard over here behind me I'm getting ready to show you that was uh, completely um, together and, and was fine uh, yesterday, uh, well, the day before yesterday. But yesterday, the wind was so kicking so hard that it ripped this thing down. That thing yesterday was flapping in the wind. That piece of billboard right there was not bent. It was all one piece. It was just like a for a Shell gas station, like saying they have like clean restrooms and what exits they were to stop. This thing was flapping way out here. I was concerned that it was going to rip off and like fall down onto this Class A, or even uh, blow across the whole RV park and maybe hit hit uh, another rig or ours. But luckily, um, that didn't happen. This is the spigot that that froze up. And so I had to run a hose from here over again to my neighbor's spigot over there. The wind was coming in from the north, which was this direction. And so I think that their spigot didn't freeze because our RV was blocking the wind for it. But ours was frozen. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. I'm going to get back inside and warm up and hopefully let this block heat up. And we'll see if it starts. Did I mention they were almost out of propane? <laughs> Thank you. 
I know what you're thinking. And you're probably even saying it to whoever you're sitting next to or to yourself if you're watching this by yourself. Why didn't they just fill up with propane before they got to Oklahoma City? And that was probably a, a good idea. But there's two kinds of people in the world. There are um, gas almost empty, I know my car people. And then there are people who have three quarters of tank and time to fill up people. Well, I'm in charge of propane. And I'm a I know my car kind of guy. <laughs> but there's only supposed to be a couple of really cold days. And, and we hadn't been in the really, really cold in a long time. And we, we were running the, the fireplace and uh, space heater and um, and the furnace and it just it just burned through a lot of propane so um, if we get stuck here for another day and we run out of propane we have some backup uh, I have we always carry a full 20 pound propane tank so we have that so we have a backup and you know it's my fault so I'll be the guy with a 30 pound propane tank in an uber <laughs> going, to, going to get it filled back up <laughs> all right here we go just after nine o'clock Moment of truth to see if this truck will start. It's been plugged in for right at one hour. So here's our current situation. The truck didn't start. Still plugged in. Uh, our spigot is frozen. We're almost out of propane. Cold water line is frozen. We have some water in the fresh tank, but only like peel your skin off hot and check out to the 11. So, some lessons to be learned. <laughs> We knew this would happen. We knew this would happen, right? I mean, we knew we'd have some lessons, right? <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. I, <laughs> I think if she don't laugh, she'll cry. I'm taking it way better than you are. No, I, I've, I've been taking it pretty well. I, Be I got a little angry last night. Be honest. No, I've, other than that, I've been doing good. I had a moment. You had a tantrum last night. I had a <laughs> like moment. a two-year-old, you threw a temper tantrum. Off my meds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better now. Your meds had nothing for you. <laughs> it goes to show you if you if you're a veteran and like you try the the trial days where you don't you try to like, I'm good today. But we're not doing anything. We're not going anywhere. Because <laughs> we were like it was freezing yesterday. We didn't yeah. go anywhere. So I'm like yeah, I'm all right. It was chilling PJ's day. <laughs> Not all right. Take no. your meds. Take them. Whether you, <laughs> you need them or not, you take them. <laughs> so that's lesson one. Lesson one is take your meds. Lesson two is if you're have <laughs> if you're if you're not topped off on propane, top mm -hmm. off on propane. Mm -hmm. um, get a longer extension cord. <laughs> um, don't trust RV parks spigots. Probably wrap it yourself a little bit because they had they had it wrapped up, but apparently not good enough. Mm -hmm. It's frozen. And then I, I we had ours buttoned up pretty good down there. Yeah. And have all the tank heaters on, so I'm not sure why our cold water line is frozen. I don't know either. So anyway, that's the situation. So if if the truck won't fire up by 11, we'll probably have to have it towed to somewhere to have them look at it. And then we'll have to Uber to get tanks filled mm -hmm. depending on how fast they can fix the truck mm -hmm. we'll have to pay for another night here and we've already paid for the spot in Fort Seal so double dip in there <laughs> that's good times <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> <laughs> oh lord oh yeah and that doesn't even count like how much it's gonna cost if, if there's something like seriously wrong with the truck there shouldn't be anything seriously wrong with the truck. I agree there shouldn't be <laughs> It's just not used to this kind of treatment. We're not used to this. <laughs> and mark my words, well, this we, will not happen next year. No, it won't. He'll have us at Key West like in August. Check, 
<laughs> yep. But we, this, it ain't going down like this next year. I promise you that. You know, we don't have to worry about stuff freezing yeah. and, all, and propane and all. No, it's not even going to be a deal. It's not even going to be a deal. Not even going to be a problem. Not even going to be close. Mm -mm. Our biggest problem is, is if one of our air conditioners goes out. Because mm -hmm. we're going to be somewhere warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, win, lose, or draw. Yeah. We'll bring you with us. Had the truck towed. Yes. But Geico is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They did a really great job getting the tow really fast and getting mm -hmm. us over there. And it's covered by insurance. Yeah. Free roadside or RV park side assistance. <laughs> yeah. And so they towed us over there, and, and I rode with the guy over there, and and uh, batteries froze. Yeah. And you're not supposed to jump frozen batteries. No. Nope. I didn't know that. Uh, now I know. And how do you know? They'll explode. How do you know this now? Because my wife I told me. I read the <laughs> truck manual. And apparently you can plug your truck in. That information is hidden in the manual also. Yeah, hidden. <laughs> it's amazing what they hide in the how to use your truck yeah. book. So we tried to plug it in, didn't work. <laughs> Had it towed. Got uh, both batteries replaced. So, five hundred and eighty-six dollars later, new batteries, mm -hmm. and and then we had to thaw out. Well, the, the batteries are original to the truck, so I mean, so that's not bad. It's not terrible. They're expensive batteries, so if yeah. it's a big truck. And there's two. Takes a lot of power, and there's two, so it costs a lot. Better um, it happened there than here, though. Yeah, because right now where we're at. We, we just got to Lake Elmer Thomas yeah. Recreation Area, which is on Fort Sill, Oklahoma. And it's like 10 minutes drive through the woods once you get to the gate. Yeah. If we we'd have been out here way. and it would have happened, we'd have been in some serious trouble. Because the tow truck would have had to get on post. Which is a pain in the butt. I, I, wouldn't, have had to, I wouldn't have been uh, able to like meet them out the gate. Yeah. And it's Lawton and Fort Sill is not like Oklahoma City. You can't like Uber. No. I'm sure there's you know, probably... Harder to get all that done, so yeah. we were fortunate it happened in Oklahoma City, yeah. and then it was an easy drive here. Yeah, it was. Um, I had to stop and let some air out of the tires because before we left, the air pressure was reading low, really low. Which, well, to be expected, it was. Yeah, but you can't just roll it was out. Nineteen degrees. You can't just roll out with eighty-five uh, psi on your on your RV tires. But you could because within a few minutes of movement, pressure would build up. So I I only aired them up to ninety-five on on each tire because I knew that the pressure would build. But then the pressure built too much. It went up to like one twenty. <laughs> <laughs> but you. We Who would have thought that was going to happen? But we would have went the first 20 miles right. on 85 PSI and made it pop the tire. We would not because we were going through town. We were lucky if we were doing 35. Anyway, <laughs> it got up to 120, which is bad. So yeah. I had to go, uh, I let uh, and we, so I let some air out. Yeah. I let it down to 105 on each. And then as we got going, it got back up to 110. So it was perfect. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I hate it when she's right, man. <laughs> and I'm right a lot. You would think you would just give in, but you don't. <laughs> you go against the grain. <laughs> but just like every other misfortune that we've had, once you get here, get set up, everything's cool, and we're, we're good. Yeah. We're going to cook some ribs, and yeah. it'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to hang out and probably watch the TV and get warmed up. And But here here's another moral. We went through some morals of the story <laughs> earlier. But there's some more morals. Oh, one more moral at least. Yeah. And that is, if you're if you're thinking about doing this lifestyle, <laughs> a expect there to be days like this, mm -hmm. uh, unexpected, unplanned stuff. So I mean, just roll yeah. with it. Yeah. Um, and and this, I was rolling with it pretty well. You, I had you, one moment. You weren't rolling with it so well. <laughs> I had one moment. I'm allowed to have a moment. I had a moment. And then I turned it right back off. I realized that I had the moment, and I was like, I should mm -hmm. not be having a moment. Yeah. So let me get back on. Okay, sorry. Let me get back on okay. track. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, that's what I was telling oh, myself. Oh, that's what you were I saying. I was like, yourself. Oh. I said to myself, yeah. I was like, self, <laughs> I should get back on track and not have a moment. 
<laughs> so, Goodness. yeah. But the other moral is have, don't just go on a shoestring budget and do this. No. This lifestyle is not going to work that way because if we were like dollar for dollar, very tight on a budget, but, yeah, five hundred and eighty-six dollars <laughs> would have stopped the whole production line. We, it would. I mean, so if you're in a yeah. position to where an issue like this would it's would just feasible. kill it, yeah. then then don't do it yet. Save some money. So, yeah, um, yeah. we, we kind of make a light of a six hundred dollar expense. Um, but it is a big deal. It's it, a lot of money. Yeah, I could have thought of better ways to spend yeah. six hundred dollars, but but that's why we had that money. There. Yes, that's why we we saved up prior to yeah. quitting our jobs and paying off everything, so everything is just yeah. banked in cush. We're good. We planned for this. We planned Man. for stuff like this. So if yeah. you're gonna do this, plan for stuff like this. Yeah, we had the cushion, and we over um, yeah, we estimate over how much every, we need for each month anyway so on everything yeah every item we on our go budget high on we go high so so that way when we come when under there budget we're happy yeah and we can spend six hundred dollars on a battery <laughs> without yeah. having a moment yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's see if the next issue you can i was just pissed you can talk to yourself before the freak out <laughs> you can say self don't freak out <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> I was pissed because, I mean, that's what we do the night before. Yeah. We get everything we get ready. most everything prepped. And the tire pressure was low. So I went to go start the truck and hook up the compressor to the truck to air up the tires a little bit. Yeah. So I figured everything would be ready to go in the morning. Yeah. And then the truck wouldn't start. And then we lost water. And then we lost water. Because <laughs> one of the lines froze. So then it was just like, I'm dragging hoses to the neighbors <laughs> to get water in the fresh tank to run off the pump yeah. and then it, and then because our spigot was froze and it was just I don't know yeah. you already saw all that but it we're okay now yep we're good and we got here just in time because it's like getting it's starting to get dark now is it yeah we got mm -hmm. here well we actually got here at around four, four. We got here around four. and uh, and then so by the time we got everything set up, it took a little longer for setup because I had to hook well, up. Well, first off, we get here and somebody's in yeah, our, somebody got our spot. Yeah, somebody got spot, man. They told What's up us with that? It's like 29 and there's somebody there. Yeah. And their truck's gone. They're like not there at the and moment. And the Campos wasn't there. Campos and nobody's answering the phone. And, yeah, and they didn't answer the phone. So we picked a spot. Now it's like I'm taking this spot right here. But all the open spot spigots are not, not wrapped. Right. So we had to. So what we wrap did. We it tested up, it to make sure that it would turn on. Yeah. To make sure that it wasn't already frozen. Yeah. So we we found one that was not frozen, and then so that's why it took a little extra time for setup because yeah. we wrapped the spigot ourselves. So, yeah. Made some extra stuff, and then wrapped some other lines that were exposed that we didn't know about before, but well, we know now. Yeah. And um, and then the the uh, the heated hose, it's not like an easy to uh, to curl and uncurl. It's very rigid, so it's like wrestling a bear, mm -hmm. trying to get the thing all unraveled. I'm in sorry, there. I missed that. I'm gonna catch that show next time. <laughs> as long as I can catch the show, you busting your ass down the stairs <gasps> next time. <laughs> you did not go there. <laughs> hey, you wanna go? You wanna do that? Let's do that. Make sure I take you with me on my next trip. <laughs> Anyway. I go down, we all going down. <laughs> uh, anyway, it was an adventure. It's all part of the story. Yeah. It's part of the adventure. It's a good another good campfire story. Yeah. We're we're at we're racking them up, man. We got we got some good <laughs> stories going now, dude. Yeah. And we were only two months in, a little over two months in. <laughs> I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like over like a year in, yeah. what kind of stories we're gonna have. Yeah. But um, anyway, it's fun to, to look back and laugh at, even though it was just today. Yeah. We so. should keep a journal of all the bad things. <laughs> like a YouTube channel? But no, no, like a written journal, we can turn it into a book. Yeah, yeah. you can write a book. Well, I'm not gonna, but we could. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go eat some ribs. Yeah. And we hope you, that you have a great day. Oh, it's Even though we didn't have a great hungry. day. <laughs> yeah, I got ribs, and then hot cocoa, and then mm -hmm. chill. Shower. Shower. And then probably have a great night's sleep. Yeah. We're out. Luckily, it was a short leg. Yeah, 
It was a, it was an hour and forty five minute drive, so it was one of our shorter yeah, legs. Nice. If it would have been any longer, or if it wouldn't have worked out the way that it did, if we wouldn't have done things in the order that we did yeah. in the time frame that we did, we wouldn't have been able to move today. We would have no, been stuck in Oklahoma City for another day. day. Yeah. yeah, but it all worked out. It yeah. always does. Even if we had, would have had to stay at Oklahoma City for another night, it would have worked right. out yeah. still. But we're glad that we got to move, and yeah. uh, we're glad that we got to tell you all the story. And we appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. And thanks again for watching, and we'll mm -hmm. see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>